Hello friends, this is a case of laparoscopic ovarian cystectomy and we are introducing the various angel supra umbilical. This is a 8 cm ovarian cyst on the right ovary and we will perform the laparoscopic ovarian cystectomy. Now the problem is that radiologist has not given clearly that it is endometrioma or dermoid cyst or the simple cyst. So we will take care that there should not be a spillage and we will use endo bag and we will do the cystectomy inside the endo bag. So here pneumoperitoneum is creating and we are using a striker pneumoflator and we have used the preset pressure 15 here and then slowly the actual pressure is increasing. So this patient has a unmarried girl so that's why we are keeping in supine position and uh, we will use the harmonic ball for the fulgration if it is required so this is 15 is reached and now you can remove the various handle and we will put the first port so now the supra umbilical port is increased to 11 mm And this is the optical port which is getting introduced. After that telescope is introduced. And we will see trans illumination. Telescope will reach to the ovary and this is the baseball diamond concept. Index finger will be put over target thumb over umbilicus and this is one is snuff box is one port and another 7.5 centimeter lateral and below is the second port so these two are we are using 5 mm port and these are the working port which will be introduced so this is according to the baseball diamond concept the same concept which is used for the any surgery which we use in laparoscopy we follow the port position for the baseball diamond concept. So now all the port, three port is introduced. And after that, later we will put the port for the endo bag. We will use here the ethicond endo catch. Here we have to push all the bobble up. And with the, this is the third port from inside which is introduced. Now all the small bubble will be pushed up above the sacral promontory and we can see this is rectum and a small bubble is moved up. We can see sacral promontory and in the middle we can see this is median sacral vessel. This is median sacral vessel. This is hollow sacral curve. Here is the aorta and this is common iliac vessel this is internal iliac and here is ureter you can see the peristalsis of ureter this is external iliac artery and vein and this is the IP ligament and you can see this is a large ovarian cyst that is on the right adnexa left is okay left is fine and here is the left ureter and we can see the peristalsis of the left ureter which is visible this is the gray area here this is the cul-de-sac and you can see either side this gray area and uterocycle ligament is also visible so after initial diagnostic laparoscopy we will start and first we will introduce this endo catch this endo catch has a metal ring and purse string, both are together. This is purse string. And there is a metal self retaining metal ring. So this is introduced with the contralateral port. That should be 24 cm from the target. And this endo bag is opened and the entire ovary is introduced into the endo bag. And it should go up to the ovarian fossa so that any spillage will enter into the endo bag. Now after that we will aspirate it to check. 
So we are aspirating to check that what is the consistency of this. And then this is aspiration needle puncturing anti meso ovarian border. And when we see in the syringe, it's a very simple cyst. And just watery fluid came out. So this is good news that it doesn't have any bad cystic content. After that, we will put a suction. And with the suction, we will suck the remaining fluid. Suck the endo bag also so that it should not spill outside. Then we will extend it by tearing the margins. After that, one Maryland and one grasper is used here to start in nucleation of the cyst. Pushing and pulling technique is for in nucleation. This is inner cystic wall and that is outer ovarian cortex. So slowly, slowly a stripping of the cyst should be started. Bilaterally, symmetrically, all around equally, we should do the stripping. Sometime left hand will hold the cystic wall and right will strip the ovarian cortex and sometime right should hold and left. So you need ambidexterity. But in simple cyst, taking cystic wall is not difficult. It is very easy. You should try to take all around equal. Don't go one side more. Otherwise you can tear. So we can see this side it is good, it's plain. And the cyst is coming out easily. Sometime you can wrap the cystic wall over the grasper. So that it will optimize your traction. And then it will facilitate your easy stripping of the cyst. So, it is almost out. You have to walk over to the cystic wall and slowly, slowly, all around equally, we should separate it. Laparoscopic ovarian cystectomy is an easy procedure, especially simple cyst. Endometrioma sometimes has a very thick wall, but simple cyst, if you will get a good plane, it is out. After that, we will put the cystic wall in the endo bag. And then just here we are using the harmonic ball to do the fulgration if there is any oozing. Ultrasonic vibrating ball has an advantage that it is only 80 degrees centigrade temperature it gives. So it never damage any cortex of the ovary. And any oozing immediately stops. On the margin, you can do marsupialization also because it's not a current, so there is no chances of collateral damage. And it vibrates and touches the inside to stop the oozing. So this is a beautiful instrument which can be used for inner fulgration. If you have bleeding, you can do suturing also. If margin is also bleeding, you can do marsupialization also. But this is a good thing to do. And harmonic ball is preferable for our practice. So now it's over. Now you can catch both the edges of the ovarian. And then we can drop it into carefully by inverting the margins into the ovarian fossa. Pulling the endo bag away from the ovarian fossa, this is dropped. After that, you will close the endo bag and this metal ring will come out. That is beautiful because it will not stay and metal will come out, purse string will remain there. So we can see this metal ring of the endo catch is out and this is the metal ring which is out. And then persisting is out. Port closure is must in this case because whenever you use tissue ex extraction, your wound is dilated and port closure will not do, then there will be chances of incisional hernia. So we are using here cobbler's needle to do the port closure. 
and the entire wound is closed with the number one vicryl. You should not go much lateral. Remain on the margin and it should not be very tightly closed. That may be chances of pain and necrosis of the tissue due to ischemia. So you should check that gas is not leaking and that is enough. After that, little suction irrigation will be performed. And generally, we will leave at least 500 ml normal saline inside the pelvis so that any adhesion will not develop. So couple of times suction irrigation will be performed and after that we will leave some fluid inside so that adhesion will not be there. So thank you very much for watching this video. This was just a simple case of ovarian cystectomy by laparoscopy.